Uh, all Novant Health vaccination sites are now accepting walk-ins as supply allows. We do encourage people to make an appointment, but if you have a, a free hour or you're near a vaccination site, it's worth stopping in and seeing if uh, we can accommodate you. And generally we can. Right now it's critical that we make it as easy as possible for anyone who wants a vaccination to get it. Uh, we are getting to the point where those who were eligible and wanted vaccine have been vaccinated. Uh, the percentage that remains are those who have not been as eager to be vaccinated, and we're not at herd immunity yet. So we, we see around the world kind of what herd immunity or getting closer to herd immunity can, can do for you in a place like Israel, where a much higher percentage of the population is vaccinated. They're starting to reopen. They're, they're dropping mask mandates and those kind of things. We see in other parts of the world where vaccines have um, programs have not been uh, as well organized and fewer individuals are vaccinated that they're still struggling with high rates of COVID uh, and hospitalizations and death, unfortunately. So we want to get to where uh, we want to get to that place where we are in, we're fully vaccinated. And we can start to lift some of the restrictions that have been around. Slowdown in demand. I think part of it is you know people who've been anxious to be vaccinated um, have done so. The opportunity is there. The supply is there. And so I think we're left with parts of the population that are still. Thinking about vaccination, trying to make the best decision for themselves and their families, trying to get information. Uh, maybe there are folks who still um, haven't had, it hasn't been super convenient for them to get vaccine just yet, or they have child care responsibilities, work responsibilities. Maybe they don't, they don't see the, the value in it in the same way. So I think in, in some ways that's, um, that's driving part of that. I'll tell you, you know, anecdotally, when I talk to individuals about vaccines or I have my patients come, and I say, hey, you're going to get, when are you going to get vaccinated? And they say, well, I'm not doing that. And we have a real frank conversation about that. I haven't had anyone at the end of the conversation who still said they wouldn't get it. I mean, part of it is just having conversations and addressing those rumors and concerns that, um, that we can work through. So a lot of it's just communication. Um, and so I think when people hear the, the, uh, the benefits of vaccination, how safe it is, how it makes a difference for our families and our communities, they, they tend to get it. So we're, we're trying to remove every single barrier we can to address those things. I think there are also ideological and political reasons people aren't vaccinated. It's often based on information that isn't factual. So we work through all of that and, that, and we've had a lot, of, a lot of success with that. And so we're encouraged by just the function of what, what's been said since the beginning. If we're going to get through the pandemic or not have it drag on, on and on and on, we're going to need to get more and more people vaccinated. That's why you, you, um, you know, that's why you do it, right? Um, and so, if we don't do that, you could have a couple of scenarios. One is that this just drags and drags and drags, and we have peaks and valleys in the amount of hospitalizations. Uh, but it goes on for months on end uh, with no, you know, with really no end in sight if we don't have enough people vaccinated. So. Um, we obviously a concern for us, um, and so we're trying to address those hesitancy concerns um, across all parts of our community. And it's a lot of different parts. It's not one particular group. It's a number of uh, parts of the community that have hesitancy around vaccination, and uh, we're trying to address all of those.